Helen, of course, the reason we are chatting today is the third series of On The Farm. Third series, that's mad, isn't it? I'm so overwhelmed by the support that this show's had. I mean, we were meant to make half a dozen shows last year, and we pretty much, you know, obviously we've had breaks in between, but we've been on, you know, constantly. We've had Christmas on the farm, and Autumn on the farm, and Friday on the farm, and that's just a testament to the people that have watched. I mean, I'm really lucky that I've worked on shows that people know about, like Country File and Blue Peter and stuff, but this is different because it wasn't necessarily on people's radar before. So yeah, I think, Every time I think about it and I look at my phone, the day after a show, I look at my phone and the number of messages you get from people who are getting something out of the show is just a brilliant reminder of why I love my job. So thank you for watching. When, when this series first came about, what, what, what drew you to it? Why did you want to get involved? Naturally, if they told me it was going to be on a farm, I, I, I'd just be like, I'm there. Straight up. <laughs> I was really lucky. I grew up in rural Cumbria. My dad was a dairy farmer until very recently. My granddad was a dairy farmer. My uncle was a jockey. My mates, you know, I grew up in that kind of community of which you are very familiar in your part of the world where most people work in agriculture because that's what work is. I was kind of the one that went off and found this random career in telly. So I think a lot of my life is still very connected to rural stuff. We laugh all the time. It doesn't feel like a job, so I just feel really lucky to be part of it.